Hi everyone! Are you considering becoming an actuary? Maybe you're wondering why would someone want to be an actuary? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the reasons why I became an actuary. Uh, some of the things I didn't realize I'd be doing, but I ended up doing and liking about my job. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a few reasons why you might want to not pursue a career as an actuary because obviously it's not for everyone. There's specific things about the actuarial career path that might not be right for you. So it's important to discover those early on, not once you're done five or six exams. So yeah. Um, so the main reasons that I decided to become an actuary are because one, I wanted to use math like every single day. And an actuary obviously does that. We use lots of math, probability, uh, statistics, stuff like that. So I love that about an actu being an actuary. Um, that's one of the main things that drew me to the career. Another thing that I really liked was the job security. I didn't want to write all these exams and then risk not having a job. Like it's it's a lot of work and stuff, so I wanted to have a job that was secure. I also wanted a job in an office. I don't know why, I just had visions of being in one of these really tall, like, high-rise buildings. Right now I'm in a three-story building, so <laughs> that didn't really work out, which I don't really care about now. I don't know why I wanted that, but yeah, so I wanted to work in an office. And lastly, I liked the pay, obviously. So. The salary of an actuary is pretty good. Um, yeah, so I guess those are the main four things that attracted me to the actuarial career, but there are a few things now that I'm about four years into my career that I also want to share with you because you might not realize those when you're just getting started like I didn't. So one of the things is that there's a lot of problem solving in an actuarial career. So. Yeah, I didn't really realize this, but I'm really glad there is because I actually really like this part of the, the career path, I guess. Um, I guess you kind of could associate it with math and, and doing a lot of math, but yeah, so almost every day I'm trying to figure out how things in Axis are working or I'm trying to figure out how to code something in VBA so that, so that it will so that I can improve a process or something like that. So every single day I'm problem solving. And I really like that. In my specific job, there's actually quite a lot of manual processes that need to be completed every month. But one of the things that I did when I came into the area was that I automated a lot of those. I created VBA macros and set up access so that everything could run automatically. And I personally really like doing that kind of process improvement thing. So there's a big opportunity to do that in actuarial areas, at least I've found. So another reason I went into an actuarial career was because of the work-life balance. And this is actually something I think I didn't fully understand when I first got into the career and started studying actuarial science. And a lot of people say that the work-life balance for an actuary is really good. And I think it would be once you're done exams. So when I was working and writing exams at the same time, I kind of felt like most of my life went towards studying and work. I didn't really feel like I had a lot of free time, which wasn't some something that I really expected, I guess, or thought about. But actuarial exams take a ton of time. And it's just, it keeps on going. It never really seems to end. Like you do get a month break or something, but then you have to start back up again. So yeah, a lot of the time you hear that you get a lot of work-life balance and stuff like that, but I think that happens once you are a fully qualified actuary, which makes sense, but it's just something to think about when you're going into the careers that your first years of working aren't really going to be a good work-life balance probably. Okay, so I said that I was going to get into some of the reasons why you might want to consider not getting into an actuarial career because it's not for everyone. Um, one of the big things is if you don't want to be stuck in an office every single day then you probably don't want to be an actuary. You're just not going to like it. 
in my position specifically, I don't see actuaries really going out of the office to meetings and stuff like that. I just see them mostly working on their computer in the office or going to meetings in offices in our building. So yeah, if, if that's something that you're not gonna really like, then I wouldn't recommend going into an actuarial career. Now, maybe some other companies allow their employees to work outside, outside the office in their own house and stuff, but still, you're going to need to be stuck to your computer pretty much all day long. So if you don't like that, then you probably want to consider something else. Another thing is that an actuarial job is just really mentally draining. You're thinking constantly, like all day long, you're thinking. And it can be a bit exhausting. Like by the time I come home from work, I kind of feel like having a nap after to refresh and everything. And actually when I'm studying for exams, I definitely do. I come home, I have a nap, and then I study because I just cannot study after working for a full day without getting that refresh. So yeah, that's another thing you'll have to consider. If you want to be just in an office, not really thinking much, you don't want to have like you kind of just want to go through a process, do the same thing every day kind of thing, you probably don't want to be an actuary because as an actuary, you're always kind of doing different things. You're taking on different tasks and trying to figure out different things, like all the problem solving that I said. It's not a, it's not a routine task every single day, do the same kind of thing. And lastly is exams. You really have to consider whether you want to commit to these exams. They take a ton of your time, like hours and hours and hours. After work, I probably spend three to four, maybe five hours studying every single night when an exam's coming up and it really sucks. So it's something I never really thought about when I was getting into the career. I didn't really, like I underestimated how long exams would take. I underestimated how much I'd have to study, and even if I did know that, I don't know if I really, I don't think it would have changed my mind, but it's something to take into consideration because these exams, you need them for your career. And for my job specifically, I'm not sure how it works in the States, but in Canada, you have to keep writing exams. You can't really just stop at an ASA. It doesn't really work that way. So you have to keep on writing exams and keep on doing it until you're done. Like, technically, I can lose my job if I don't pass enough exams in, in a year. So it's something to think about. You can't just stop and expect to keep your job. Now, I'm not saying it wouldn't happen or anything like that. I'm just saying that employers expect you to keep writing exams and they expect you to pass, too. So... Yeah, it can be a bit stressful in that sense. And one last thing, maybe I already said last thing, I'm not sure, but you want to make sure that you really want to be doing math every single day of your life because in an actuarial career, you're going to be doing math all the time in exams too. So if there's any doubt in you that says maybe you don't want to be doing math all the time, maybe you don't like it that much, then you probably want to consider other careers because an actuarial job is all math, it's numbers all day long and if you don't like that or you're just not sure about it then it sounds like it's probably not for you. Um, yeah, so I hope this video has helped you a little bit make a decision on whether this is what you want to do in your career or not. Um, but if you are going to go through with an actuarial career and you're deciding to write exam P or FM soon. I would love to help you in my study strategy program. This is a program where I work personally with you one-on-one -on -one to create a study strategy. I'm there to answer all your questions along the way. I'm making sure that you are always focusing on the right things at the right times. Like, like I said, I, well, maybe I didn't say it, but I've written all the preliminary exams. So I know what it takes to get through these exams. You're just trying it using a trial and error approach. It, a lot of the times ends in failing. So I've decided that I can help people pass using the knowledge that I know and get them ahead into their actuarial career quicker and get done exams quicker because it's a process. 
that you need to follow to pass exams. And once you figure it out, you can use it for all the other exams. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'd love to help you pass. I know that description of the program was a little bit messy, but you can find out all the details on the page below. It's much more clear there. So yeah, if you want more tips, actuarial advice, anything actuarial, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!